I found out about the program at Appalachian State, the educational media program, um, from the work I was doing in the community with my nonprofit organization. I started a nonprofit about six years ago in 2011, and through the work that I was doing with my nonprofit, I had no idea I was doing media literacy education. But as I dove into doing programming that eventually led to the formation of this amazing nonprofit that I think um, called I Am Not the Media, I met a lot of professionals in the community. Um, one of the amazing people I met was the, the executive director for the National Association of Media Literacy Education. I remember being on a conference call with her and we were discussing all of my plans that I have with media literacy here in North Carolina. And I remember her telling me, I don't see too many organizations in North Carolina that's doing the work that you're doing, Jamaica. What are your plans? And I told her how I really want to create more curriculum that focuses on media literacy in our community. And I really do want to connect with other people that are doing the work, but it is hard for me to find those people in our community. She initially told me, you have to look at this program that's at Appalachian State. Appalachian State is the founding father of media literacy. And I'm thinking, wow, I'm in North Carolina. This is perfect. The online program gives me the opportunity to have flexibility that I can navigate throughout the week and decide how I'm going to plan out my week and make sure I get everything done and meet the deadlines that are placed for me. So it brings me the flexibility and the freedom in the program to explore. I've taken Dr. Redman twice. I took her for instructional design. And I took Dr. Redman also for a course that focused on global perspectives with technology. Oh man, I love that class because it, it added this cultural piece um, to media and technology where we're looking at how media and technology is uh, impacting us on a global and cultural level. That's the kind of stuff I like when we dig deep. The educational media program has allowed me to become a media creator because it has given me the skills to learn how to utilize so many media creation platforms. I've learned how to use Adobe um, Suite. I've done Dreamweaver, Muse, Photoshop, Illustrator, all different forms of um, platforms with the Adobe Suite to learn how to do media creation. I've also learned how to utilize media in online platforms, learning the software that I could use to build and create um, online curriculum. I've also taken courses to learn how social media can be utilized in an educational setting and how to create learning experiences through social media. Having the ability to become a media creator allows you to take reins of the power and influence people in a positive way utilizing this amazing powerful tool called media. The stop motion animation video that I created was utilized to promote um, our program that we have for our nonprofit that focuses on um, body image in the media. So it was a cool animation video that's already been shared on our social media page and I am now using as an intro to the program. A lot of my classmates, we do a lot of um, meetups with Google Hangouts and Zoom calls that we, it's like having that one-on-one -on -one interaction where I'm looking at them face-to-face -face and having conversations and learning so much about their lives. So that accountability makes me dive deeper into the subject and the information that's presented to me to, um, to ensure that I'm learning the content and, you know, just being the, the best student I can be to get the most out of the program. So it has been a phenomenal experience doing the online programming program at Appalachian State.